Hello everyone. I'm recording this on my phone because I've been a busy bee and I haven't really had time to uh, upload a lot of videos. So if you've noticed some of the videos prior to this one were kind of like pointless, silly, and short. And the ones after this one are also going to be sort of strange and also pre-recorded because I like don't really have a lot of time in the holiday season. So uh, yes, um, I did my makeup today. And I actually did it with like the testers. <laughs> like this is a full face of makeup with testers. So like conjunctivitis, here I come. But <laughs> yes. So I just wanted to make a quick video about me being busy. And also the fact that I've been meaning to make a video about um, my nipple piercings. So it is winter right now. Um, I think the last time I updated about my nipple piercing were was like I don't know like a while ago I think after I had them done for about a year and change so the update with that now is that I do not have them oh my goodness <sighs> sorry um I took them out I took them out um late in the summer um after a couple incidences so I know that a thing with nipple piercings is like the nipple piercing bump which a lot of people get and the fact that it's always like leaking something and I was well aware of this from my piercer she told me and I was like yes I understand went through with it and I just dealt with like the piercing bumps and the bleeding and with stuff coming out of it when you like squeezed it and I was like fine but I think it just got to the point where it was like repetitive. I didn't want to keep doing it. And then I thought, oh my God, what if one day I start dating somebody and then like they like have their faces in this area and then like stuff comes out of it or my nipple is bleeding. So um, that was one factor. And another one was one day, I don't know how I did it. But I had somehow, I was like scratching my nipple because those nipple piercings hurt and itch. And I had long nails and I somehow like lacerated the bottom, like bottom portion of my nipple. Like there was like a cut like that and it was deep and it was bleeding a lot. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was just so like worried about it because it was a big gash like your nipple is like not that big and to have like this gigantic gash that's almost like half of like the entire width of my nipple it was very horrifying and it was deep and it was deep to the point where it was like where the bar was so I was just like ah but um that healed and that was very horrifying and then uh, I had another nipple piercing bump after, like shortly after that. And I was just like, no. So obviously piercers will always tell you that if you're going to take out your piercings, don't do it when it's irritated. But after the whole nipple laceration issue and then the nipple bump after lacerating my nipple, I was just like, N-O spells no. And so I waited um, a couple days or a week or something after that healed and then I made the decision to take my nipple piercing out but um yeah so when I took it out it was fine I unscrewed the ball took it out and I was like all right this is great but then I would say maybe like three days later I was taking a shower and I looked at myself in the bathroom mirror and I was just like I hate this so much like this looks so wrong I feel so naked and empty. You know how it is when you like lose a part of you or a piercing that you've had for a really long time. And I was just like, I hate this so much. I don't look like myself. But at that point, since nipple piercings closed so fast, it was closed. Like not even a sign that I had ever had my nipple pierced. It just looked like I had never pierced it in my lifetime. And so, I have made the decision that I should re-pierce them. Um, probably not in the winter time because 
I don't want to be going outside and like my nipple like getting hard and then like pulling the crusties into the fistula and because that really hurt. Um, not in the summer because then it's just too hot and I don't want to deal with it. So ideally either sometime maybe like after like February, maybe like March to like May or something. And if I don't get it then, I will probably do it maybe in the autumn of next year or something. I just know that, well, I don't know actually. I was gonna say, I just know that taking my nipples out was a mistake, but I really don't think so because I really feel like I'm gonna try it again. And if it happens again, then I'm gonna have to take them out a second time because honestly, like I don't love them enough to constantly baby them like that like I'm more of a like a one and done person like I get the piercing I take care of it for a couple weeks and then I leave it alone for the rest of my life like that's how I want to take care of my piercings I don't even like taking these out because you have to clean them all the time otherwise they stink and that to me is a chore and I don't even take them out every day so to have this I have to take care of and like any new piercings or tattoos I have to take care of and my nipple piercing that I always have to take care of. It's just so annoying. So uh, yeah, I will give it another try soon eventually, but for now, don't have any piercings in my boobies. Um, yeah, it's very unfortunate, but that is what it is. Thinking back on it now, would I have taken them out if I knew um, how I would feel about them after I took them out? No, because that means I have to spend another $100 to get them re-pierced and another year um, for them to heal um, completely and stuff. But uh, yeah, so this video is unedited, so it is a little long. Thank you for watching up to this point. And before it gets too long, I am going to sign off with this little update. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. So until next time, bye.